Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, welcome to your November tarot forecast. I feel like there's two really strong energies and themes um, coming through right now for you. One of them is you have this new identity and like new personality really that is emerging. And I feel like you are going to be feeling more confident than ever. It's like, you're gonna just be feeling more in your flow, in your power, in your um, sort of like, it's just like you know how to control yourself in a better way. You know how to control your environment in a better way. And I feel like a lot of you, I have this emperor like smack dab in the middle and it's just like, it's with a 10 of coins. So something you've been working on for a while, something you've been working on for a while is maybe coming to a close and it's going to start bringing a lot of money, opportunity, expansion. Um, I also feel like you are really getting more confident about how you can either create or um, like manifest or um, just control yourself in a new way. I also just feel like as this new identity emerges, you're gonna be feeling like you wanna show up differently, move differently, talk differently, dress differently. Like this is very good energy. The second thing is that like, it's either your thoughts will control you or you will control your thoughts. So make sure that when you're noticing your mind is getting very activated. I'm like, I'm also a Gemini. We are air signs. We are the twins, which means there's always like two separate things happening at the same time, probably in opposition. And it's just like, mm, 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 mm. so it's like when our mind gets so activated from every angle and we're thinking about the future and the past and what's happening now and how to solve for this and what we can do in the future, it's just like, connect to the earth. We need to go, we need to go like move our bodies. We need to do, like for example, last week um, at nine in the morning, I went to my friend Liza's, um, shout out Liza, she's amazing. I went to her um, yoga and like Kriya, like breath work class, it was like 9 a.m. All day, I was so fucking clear and focused and grounded and like, it was like, my life was happening in slow motion, which was amazing because that's like normal speed for a Gemini. Our slow motion is normal speed for other people. Like we are so fast in the mind and the communication and the understanding of everything and how to fix it, how to solve it, how to like, you know, create the next situation and like just keep going. And it's just like when we can connect with the body and the breath, especially in the morning, and it sets the tone for the whole day, it's like it keeps us more stable and calm. And we feel like we're in slow motion, but like my life, everything just still flowed. I was on it. I was good. I was like, so that is the kind of um, approach that you need to focus on. And maybe for you, it's not breath work, but it should be something that makes you feel more calm. Also like stop with the coffee, stop with the um, super spicy foods. It's like drink more water, drink more tea. Um, I found a really good coffee replacement that's made from mushrooms and uh, chicory and like, bitch, this has changed my life. It is so good. Ha! Ah, it's so hot. Oh my God, my tongue. Oh my God, that's hot. I <laughs> fucked up my tongue for sure. Give me one second. I'm gonna just pop that lid off so I can drink it later. Oh, look at that. You see how steamy that is? Oh, fuck. Fuck this. Okay. Anyways, my point is there's this overall requirement for you to start your day a little bit differently so that you can feel your energy more settled because what that helps you do is get more focused like see this lion this is like our regular energy it's just like and it's like when we can take control like this and we can get more um disciplined like this we're just a little more slow. We know we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it here, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it here, we're gonna take this. Like when we can do that over and over and over again and stay more focused and consistent throughout the day, the speed that we will be manifesting and just like building things is still faster than other people. Um, but we are maybe just feeling a little bit like, oh, it's like, like for example, I don't need to like speed everywhere I'm going when I'm driving around. It's like, I've noticed that if I just calm my nervous system, I still arrive maybe one, two 
minutes later. It's like around the same time anyways. And I just feel better because I'm not like this the whole time. So it's like, we can't continue to do that. So whatever is making your nervous system just feel like this the whole time, or you're running, or you, you wake up and you get in bed and you grab your phone, and you're just ting, 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 you're on it, you're doing emails, your phone call. It's just like, no, no, it's not fucking good for you. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your, your mind. It's not sustainable. And I feel like there's this overall energy now where we're really understanding our own behavior and habits and addictive cycles and just the things that we've been doing. And we're just like, I don't need to continue to do that. I also don't need to do everything myself. Yes, I can. And like, honestly, because I learn so quickly and I see so many options and I understand typically all perspectives, like I can probably do it better and faster. But like, do I want to do everything myself? No. Could I build this literal place myself? Probably, but it's just like, do you know how long it would take me to like learn how to like do the carpentry and then like literally like build this in the back and like do all, like, I'm not gonna be able to like do this fast. You know what I mean? It's just like, we need to just be okay with knowing that we can do something, but we don't wanna do it anyways. And why do we not wanna do it? Because we don't have, like the emperor has nothing to prove. That's the other thing, bitch. It's like the emperor has nothing to prove. So he doesn't need to continue to do it, do everything and go, 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 go. It's like, he knows that like, he's the fucking emperor, bitch. And it's just like, so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna tell my designer to do this. And I'm gonna tell my operations manager to do this. And you're gonna go out and you're gonna hire these people. And then I'm gonna tell the chef to cook this. And then I'm get, I don't need to be cooking and hiring and doing and cleaning and designing. I could, but I don't want to. Why? Because when we don't do everything ourselves, we can let our nervous system chill, which means what? Better flow, which means what? More opportunity and expansion and better connections. They find us and they come to us. It's because we are in a calm, comfortable state of flow of just relax and we let things find us. If you need something, ask. Ask the universe, tell them what you need, feel into it, and then give it a week. You'll see, it will show up or something to lead you to it will show up. And it's just like, we need to, we need to stop working so hard and work smarter. We need to shift our values because I feel like for a lot of us up until now, we got a lot of value proving to everyone that we can do everything, that we're really good at everything, but it's like, who fucking cares? Like, just give yourself a break. I feel like slow down, like go take a weekend away and just rest or something. I just, we're really kind of done with it, you know? It's kind of all I have to say. Let me see what other cards are in here. Like, some of you are thinking about moving. Holy shit. Oh my God, you guys. Look at all these major arcana. We have the magician. We have the ace of coins, the hangman, temperance, the devil, the tower, the death card, the ace of wands. It's like the things that have held you back for so long, the old addictions, the old beliefs, behaviors, habit. It's just like, it's like it's gonna be night and day. It's just gonna go from night, boom, to day. And like like a, like a switch, just click. Something is going to click for you very soon and you're just gonna wake up. And I already experienced this with the coffee. I just woke up one day and was like, I'm not drinking coffee anymore. Done and done. Like maybe once in the last month was I like, oh, I would really love a coffee right now. And then I just have this and I'm like, mm, that's so good. It tastes just like it. And I'm just like, oh, I I'm good. Like porn, done. I don't wanna watch it, done. Alcohol, I haven't had a drink in a month and a half. Don't care, done. Like there's just something inside of you that is click, done. Why? Because you see what you can build now. You have enough results. You have enough confidence in yourself. You've, in yourself, you've seen yourself do enough up until now that you're just like, have I been sleeping on my motherfucking self this whole time? Holy shit, look at me. Look what I can do. Look what I can build. Look who I am. Like, 
I'm just done. And we're taking these aces. We're taking this magician energy. We're taking this temperance and this hangman. And we're saying it's time to fucking chill because I can work smarter and not harder and I can still accomplish amazing things. And I'm ready and willing to give myself the, the break that I deserve. And during that break, I can still expand. And that's what's so fucking magical about the next chapter for us. So I love that. We also just had that eclipse, the final eclipse a few days ago. So like whatever we've been so fixated on, stuck on, because it was a full moon in Taurus. So like Taurus is very stuck. Um, Taurus is very committed and loyal, but it can be to the wrong things. And how you've been spending your time, energy, money, resources, like what you've been building up until now, you're gonna notice there are some connections, relationships, people, projects, things that you just don't wanna continue investing in. And that is what you've been so stuck with. Maybe it's an ex, maybe it's an old story, an old something just from the past you've been holding on to it. And I just need this, I need this, I need this. You're like obsessing about it. This tower moment is just like, it's like, again, from night to day, just boom, dark to light, click, something changes. And you're just like, I'm good. <laughs> Not only am I good, I'm motherfucking great, bitch. Bye, I'm moving on. So it's like, use that eclipse energy. If you haven't watched the workshop, go watch the workshop after this. It's 25 minutes, you can watch it anytime. It's a home video. It's like, it's also literally pay what you can. Like it's donation based. So I don't care. You can pay $1. If you're going out for lunch, if you're buying coffee out there, you can go pay $1 to change your life. If you want some support, if you want an energy clearing for you and your space, go watch the workshop. Okay. I love you, Gemini. Let me know in the comments if this was resonating. Go watch the workshop. Seriously. Like 20,000 people took the last one. Like if you're not there, you're missing out. Use this energy to clear and cut. Whoa, the fuck, did you hear that? People upstairs knocking away. It's like, wake up, Gemini, go watch the workshop. Okay, I love you. And share this on your Instagram. These are free. I support you, you support me. Ciao. Ciao.